Marvin Winans, as the leader of Perfecting Church in Detroit, found himself at the center of a heated controversy in 2012, when it was reported that a single mother was denied the opportunity to have her child blessed during a church ceremony. The mother, who was not married, was reportedly told that she could not participate because of her marital status. This incident quickly became a flashpoint for a broader discussion about the role of the church in modern society, especially regarding its treatment of non-traditional family structures. Critics argued that the church's actions were not only unkind, but also contrary to the teachings of compassion and acceptance that are central to Christianity. They contended that the church should be a place of refuge and support, especially for those who might be struggling or who find themselves outside the traditional norms. The decision to exclude the single mother was seen by many as a harsh judgment that failed to take into account the complexities of individual lives. Marvin Winans has faced scrutiny over the financial practices within his church, Perfecting Church, and its associated ministries. As a prominent figure in the religious community, Winans oversees a large congregation with significant financial contributions from members. These funds are intended to support the church's operations, charitable activities, and community outreach programs. However, questions have been raised about how these funds are being managed and whether they are being used appropriately. Allegations of financial mismanagement are not uncommon among mega churches and high profile religious leaders, and Winans has not been immune to such accusations. Critics have pointed to a lack of transparency in the church's financial dealings, raising concerns about whether donors' money is being used for its intended purposes. Some have accused the church of spending disproportionately on luxury items and the personal lifestyles of its leaders, rather than on charitable works or community programs. These concerns were exacerbated by reports of lavish spending within the church, including expensive renovations, luxury vehicles, and high-end accommodations for church leaders. Critics argue that such expenditures are inconsistent with the teachings of humility and modesty that are central to Christianity. They also question whether the church is fulfilling its obligation to serve the poor and vulnerable in the community. In response to these allegations, Winans and his church have defended their financial practices, arguing that they are transparent and that all funds are used in accordance with the church's mission. They have emphasized the importance of maintaining high standards for their facilities and ensuring that their leaders are well supported so they can effectively lead the congregation. However, the controversy has continued to linger, with some members of the public calling for greater accountability and transparency from the church. This controversy highlights the broader issue of financial management in religious organizations, particularly those with large congregations and significant financial resources. As churches continue to grow in size and influence, they are increasingly subject to scrutiny from both their members and the public at large. For Marvin Wynans and Perfecting Church, the challenge lies in maintaining trust and credibility in the face of ongoing allegations of financial mismanagement. Marvin Wynan's involvement in politics has been a source of controversy, especially given the expectation that religious leaders should maintain a certain distance from political affairs to preserve the neutrality of their congregations. Wynan's has been invited to participate in various political events over the years, including offering prayers at inaugurations and speaking at rallies. His involvement in these events has sometimes been seen as an endorsement of particular political figures or causes, which has sparked debate about the appropriateness of such actions. For example, Wynan's participation in the inauguration ceremony of Detroit Mayor Dave Bing in 2009 was met with mixed reactions, with some praising his role as a spiritual leader in the community, while others criticized it as an inappropriate mingling of church and state. Critics argue that when religious leaders like Wynans become involved in politics, they risk alienating members of their congregation who may hold different political views. This can lead to division within the church and undermine the sense of unity and community that religious institutions are meant to foster. Additionally, there are concerns that political involvement can compromise the moral authority of religious leaders, as they may be seen as endorsing the policies and actions of specific politicians, even when those policies may not align with their religious teachings.